Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, today I thought I would try something new again and I'm gonna be making some air dry clay crafts. I've been seeing um, quite a few videos of this and also just some really cute like aesthetic clay things and um, it seems pretty easy because this is just air dry clay so I kind of just have to mold it and then let it dry and then I can paint it. Um, so yeah, I thought why not give it a go? Like most things, I don't know what I'm doing here, so I'm just gonna try and figure it out. Um, I've got some inspo pics from Pinterest and stuff that I'm gonna try and recreate. I've also got my little cactus because one of the things I wanna make is a pot for this cactus because I don't have one right now. Um, I have to be really careful with it because if I touch any of these little things, they literally get stuck in your finger. It's so painful. I also haven't watered this since I got it, I think. How often do you need to water a cactus? Uh, anyways, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna make some crafts and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really looked at instructions for how to do this. I just have some water and then some tools, which is just a fork and a knife. Um, I think you just mold it. If I'm wrong, I'm sure we'll figure it out soon enough. But why don't we start with the pot maybe? I'm gonna break off a fair size chunk because it's a fair size cactus. Okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna make this into a pot. I wonder if I just, yeah, I guess I could like do that and do it up. Oh, I should play with a rolling pin, huh? Definitely very hand done, but I feel like that's an aesthetic nowadays, no? Okay, that's it. Okay, so the next thing that I kind of want to make is those dishes that have the faces on them, um, like the abstract face thing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but they look cute, so I'm going to make one, or at least try to make one. So I guess I'll have to make like a dish and then I'll leave a bit of clay to make the long strip that I will make the features out of. Maybe I'll do a strip to go around the whole edge first and then I'll roll out another strip to make as the features. That's my tray. Now it's time to do the face on it. That was honestly pretty easy to make. Um, I literally just took a lump and folded it in half and made a rainbow. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to paint this one because I think it's going to look really cute when it's painted and hopefully I can get a gloss for that so it will be shiny. And I think with my last bit of clay, I'm probably just going to make some coasters. Um, I think that's probably going to be very easy and most of the work will probably be in the painting for this. Um, but I'm just going to make them with my hand because I kind of want them to be pretty hand done. Okay guys, well I used up all my clay so I'm pretty much done. My hands are covered in clay right now and if this dries up and it gets kind of- Ooh, I already feel that. If it gets kind of dry and powdery, I'm gonna hate myself. So I'm gonna go clean up and hopefully pray that I do not ruin my coffee table forever. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna come back when these are all dry and then we can paint them. 
and then we'll be done. I think this is so fun. It was honestly really easy. It's genuinely like playing with Play-Doh, especially if you have water. It makes it so easy to maneuver the clay and then smooth it out and stuff. Um, smoothing it does take a while, um, but if you're just going for like a fun handmade present or even if you like the kind of ceramic handmade aesthetic, which I love, um, this is great to do because I think I bought the this whole two pound box of clay for maybe, I don't even know, like five dollars and I got a couple of things out of it so yeah, I think it's such an easy, affordable way to make some pretty cute things. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna come back and paint them and then I think they'll look way cuter. Hi guys, I'm back. It's a new year. Um, still <laughs> making the same video. But uh, all my ceramic things have dried and I'm gonna paint them now. I left them to dry for a couple of days because some of them were kind of thick. And also I was just kind of lazy to paint them so they've been sitting by my window for a few days. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to paint them and I've also got like a gloss spray finish so that hopefully they'll look super professional and shiny at the end of it. Um, they're the kind of texture that I really hate right now. They're like that dry, chalky material, so it's kind of killing me to hold them. Um, but I'm gonna do my best to do them without cringing. Here is, I'll show you how they're all looking right now. Here's the little pot and then the face tray, which is actually pretty nice and smooth. I'm actually happy with that one. And then the little rainbow. And then we have the coasters. So I think I'm gonna start with the vase maybe. And then we'll move on to the others. I'm just using some acrylic paints because that's all I had. Hopefully that's fine um, and it works. I'm not really planning on getting any of these wet or washing them or anything like that. So um, yeah, hopefully it should be fine. But yeah, I'm just gonna paint them now. splatter on here. I'm potentially gonna mess this up, um, but we'll find out. I think it kind of worked. Can you see the speckles? It low-key worked. I'm happy with that. Okay, for this guy, the little face tray, I was thinking about like not painting it at all, um, just because I did want it to be white, and I, I don't think I'm gonna be spraying this with the gloss spray either, because I think it would look better matte. Um, but I changed my mind and I'm gonna paint it, but I'm just gonna do, um, I'm gonna use the unbleached titanium white, which is basically just an off-white, and I think it's just gonna help smooth it out more. Um, and I also kind of wanted it to be a little bit more off-white than so white as the clay is, if that makes sense. I can't speak as usual, but yeah, I'm just gonna do however many coats of this paint, and then that's it. I don't think I'm gonna do any details on this one. So this is going to be an easy The rainbow, I think I want to do kind of like a light base coat. I might mix this unbleached titanium with some normal white and then do a base coat of that and then I want to use probably like pink and ochre and then maybe mix an orangey rust color and then do rainbow stripes. I don't know, maybe I'll only be able to fit two actually because it is pretty narrow. So we'll see how many I can fit or maybe I can only just fit one on each side. Um, so we'll see how that goes but I'm just gonna do the base coat first which is just gonna be again an off-white color. Okay, so my rainbow is kind of dry and did get a little bit of a splatter from when I was splattering my base, but that's okay. I really don't mind it. I think it looks pretty nice because, um, like I said, I really like that splatter effect. But now I think I'm just going to go in with the ochre color and make um, a rainbow stripe. I 
really like that. I think that looks super cute. Can you guys see it? It looks so cute. And I'm actually so glad the speckles happened. That was a very happy accident. Um, because I feel like it just adds to the whole look of it. This is getting kind of boring, but for the coasters, the base coat is gonna be the same white, I think. I'm gonna do more white than um, this ochre color here. And then we're gonna do some fun colors on top of that. Like I'm gonna make shapes, I think, and do maybe little dots and stuff like that, lines and all that. But I prefer just the base coat. I just wanna do white just to smooth everything out make it a little bit lighter, fill in all the gaps of the clay, and then we'll come back when that base coat is dry and then do all the shapes and details and stuff like that. Okay, so for the coasters, I think I'm just gonna do something kind of fun and freestyle it. I'm just gonna do some random shapes and things like that, and then, um, yeah, we'll just see where we go. Guys, I'm done with all my little crafts. I'm so happy with how they all turned out. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product of everything. So here is a little tray with the face on it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'll probably just use it for like jewelry or something, um, but I think it looks super cool and minimal. Here are the finished coasters. I did spray these. Uh, with the gloss spray and I'll show you guys which spray I used in a second, but um, I just added some black dots and lines to them just to add some more visual interest um, But I love how these look especially with the gloss on them and I think stacked up They look so cute and maybe a little bit different to the usual coaster you can find out there here is the rainbow little bud vase. I think this is probably my favorite one that I did. Um, I just put some flowers in there to show you, but there's a hole up there. I love this little bud vase. I think it came out so, so cute. And honestly, I feel like you would be able to buy this in Urban Outfitters for like $30. So really happy with that. Here's my little pot. It definitely is too small for the cactus, but you know what? It's okay. I did the speckles on it um, and I also added a gold rim. I just used some gold acrylic paint uh, and went around the rim, um, but I think it looks really cute anyways. I'll show you what it looks like without the cactus inside, being careful not to prick myself. Um, but this is what it looks like without the cactus inside and yeah, I just think it looks super cute. I sprayed this one as well and I think it definitely made it look a little bit more finished. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly so happy with how all these things turned out. Um, I think that they turned out probably better than I was even expecting and it was so easy so I'm probably gonna be buying more air dry clay because I feel like this was really fun and I'm really happy with how everything looks in the end. <laughs> 